One of the hardest things about getting rid of clutter is parting with items that have sentimental value. Itty bitty baby clothes, preschool artwork, that crystal punch bowl from your beloved grandmother's dining room, people tend to attach emotional value to inanimate objects. Getting rid of old stuff that is meaning feels like you're disrespecting the person it's associated with. And while Joanna Gaines may be the reigning queen of sleek, chaos-free design, it turns out she has a few clutter skeletons in her closet just like the rest of us. She recently went on a purging spree in her attic, and like many mothers, she had a hard time letting go of her kids' old stuff. But that doesn't mean she kept everything. Let's take a look at how Joanna deals with clutter, as well as a few other common design mistakes that make your house look cluttered. Joanna got a jump start on 2018 with a huge decluttering session. Lots of people joke that the week between Christmas and New Year's feels strange with the kids off school and the holiday excitement winding down. But rather than sitting around stacks of new presents, Joanna used the time to start tackling the mess she was hiding in her attic. She shared her cleaning mission with her millions of followers on Instagram. Next, she hid a hodgepodge of treasures here. Her attic was hiding a hodgepodge of treasures. Cake stands, teacups, old clothes, bedding, furniture. It's amazing how much stuff was in Joanna's attic. If you have a similar situation in your storage space, consider following the rule that if you haven't used it or looked at it in a year, it's time to get rid of it.